hello YouTube welcome back today I'm, I'm back with another tutorial uh, uh, on in Python so today I'll discuss about how how to work with Excel sheet in using Python okay so we have one Excel sheet and we want to work with that and you know, how, how we can uh, you know import data from Excel sheet and how we can uh, manipulate data from that and how we can work with that okay so it's a basic uh, introduction program to uh, to work with uh, an excel sheet okay so i have an uh, a demo excel file here which is containing some data so we'll try to work with it okay so <coughs> so in uh, in in python we have this uh, this uh, this uh, package uh, for excel excel programming we have this module called uh, excel excel so if you if you don't know uh, which is the package to use so you can simply search pip search and then excel okay it will list you it will help you uh, with the lists which can be used to work with excel okay so there are several uh, you know package you know python uh, I, I have already told earlier that python is a very vast language which is containing thousands of modules okay so here you see this is the first package which is a very ba basic package to work with okay so there are others packages also so it will work with this one itself first of all so if you haven't installed it you have to install it first using pip install excel so i have done it already so you have to run this command okay and then once you are there you have to use this uh, module called open excel so if you simply open from excel you have to import this uh, module uh, this this module contains one of the package which is called open excel yeah so if you open if you import this and simply type help open excel so uh, i have already discussed that this is the python is very easy language and it's a very simple simple language it's very self explanatory so if you simply uh, use the help uh, you can understand it by yourself you see this is the um, this is a class open excel and it has this this methods okay so we we can create an object okay to open this file okay uh, we have to specify the file that you want to open and then using this uh, object we can we can read the data from the excel and we can do whatever we want okay with this function so let's try to go ahead and start with the with a simple program okay so let's say i write a program yeah excel excel programming or something yeah so okay so it's very simple uh, you just need to go with the help so i'll just uh, you know, uh, from open excel is the package oh, sorry. excel is the package from excel i am only importing this class open Excel okay so and then I will uh, I will create an object okay so let's say F is my object is equal to open Excel it's a class so it takes uh, parameters like you know the path of the file and then and you can also give the sheet equal to zero or you can you can give the mode equal to R so let's, let's stick to the file name for now so okay so let me see where is my file uh, okay it will be in the same folder dot slash and then i have this i have this demo file which i will use for this example okay so i will use this file okay and then i will you know f obj is my object okay so now i can use this parameters to uh, to this object to uh, uh, work with this excel sheet okay so let's say i want to know the number of columns in this excel sheet so you can simply do get calls is a method okay so let's say it will return something call equal to this okay so print number of columns return call right okay let's try to 
execute this much for better understanding let's say I mean we just want to check whether the file is getting opened or not okay let's say program okay okay so something is wrong here um, it's a simple conversion problem so it's saying that the string cannot be concatenated with uh, integer okay because our column is an integer and this is a string so what i will do is i will do a conversion here simply you just have to convert this column into a string okay let's try to execute it so number of column in the sheet is 416 okay so let me go just go and verify here in my actual sheet number of columns how many columns are there okay so i have uh, total 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so i have 16 columns which is right let's go ahead and try to print you know if you can simply uh, get the number of rows also the function for that is get rows okay so you can simply do rows i'm sorry the r should be capital okay number of rows number of rows in the sheet number of column in the sheet okay so here i will give okay Okay, so it should work properly so we can get the number of rows and column from the sheet okay so number of rows number of sheet number of uh, rows in the sheet is 105 let's just go back to the bottom of this one if you see it will be having 105 105 rows yeah so it's very much exactly what we are looking for okay so now let's get some more data okay let's say i want to get f o b j is equal dot read so we are reading data so let's say i want to read the first line okay so okay then we can simply uh, you know we can simply print the first line the first line first line first line so what we can do is we can first line we can directly print the first line okay. so and then we can we need to convert it to string yeah. so we can simply print the first line let's say it's working if you see this is the first line so city std code circle hub uh, it's nothing but the something but the header header of this excel sheet so it's really std code circle hub number which is what it's showing here okay so this is how you can uh, uh, get the data from a particular line let's say you want to get the data from the second line you simply put uh, two in place of one to give you the data from the second line you see agra up so this is my data from the second line so agra 562 up yeah so it's very much right let's go ahead and try to find the data from the column okay so so this is my first line so i'll just maybe make it back to one okay Okay, what, I, what if I want to get the data from first column? Okay, so first column also we can get what we need to do is we have to get fobj dot read and here instead of uh, uh, number number you have to give a b c d which is there in our sheet. So if we if we give a, it will give you the data from the first column which is here a. Okay, so if I read this, let's see what is happening. Some error in line number 18. Okay, so here I read it and then I need to 
low swing press okay fine. so this is my first line and this is my first column so it's nothing but uh, uh, it's a list it's a list of data so if you see my first column which is nothing but city agra ahmedabad right city uh, city agra ahmedabad so it's pretty much match okay what if I want to get the data from the uh, second uh, column B or something so you can simply place B, C, whatever you want it here. Okay, what if I want to get certain number of, uh, let's say I want to get column, no column number C and the line number 11. So you can simply give like this and uh, column number C and line number column number c and line number 10 let's say 10 okay so what you can do is you can simply give str dot fobj dot read read and then you can specify the column number which is c and then 10 okay i think this should do it Okay, and it should be in the quotes. Okay, C10. If I run this, so I am getting column number C, line number 10, it's Madhya Pradesh. What if uh, we can compare here? So it is C10 is exactly what we are getting from the program. So this is how you can get the data from a particular line number and the particular column. Okay let's say uh, okay so this is a very basic program and uh, we will go ahead in our next tutorial and we'll learn something more okay so in this in this package we have these these many options to read okay to read the number of lines read the number of columns uh, data from a particular section okay either you can give like this or you can give like this both are acceptable okay <coughs> fine so this is a very basic program guys let's say uh, there is there is there is there is given that we can use the other way also so what you can do give is instead of c10 you can give c comma 10 okay this will also give you the same output right yeah fine so this is how you can extract data from an excel sheet and you can work on it okay fine this is uh, that's all in my this tutorial uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, and uh, in my next tutorial we'll just see some advanced topics working with excel sheet thanks for watching